Aquatic food systems are integral to building healthy and resilient communities worldwide. They offer an irreplaceable and at times the most affordable source of micronutrients, essential fatty acids, and high quality protein for vulnerable populations in many of the world's lowest income countries. More than 1 billion people rely on fish and other aquatic foods as their primary source of animal protein. Aquatic food systems are also key to sustainable livelihoods. Fisheries and agriculture provide jobs, employment and incomes for millions, including women and young people. Around 60 million people worldwide work in agriculture and fisheries, and fish are among the world's most valuable items of global trade, worth around $164 billion a year, according to latest estimates. However, the benefits of aquatic food systems continue to be underrepresented, despite offering enormous potential for addressing the unfolding climate crises, as well as reducing hunger and poverty. For communities most reliant on fishing and aquaculture, climate resilient aquatic food systems offer a meaningful chance to successfully adapt to new and challenging conditions. And by unlocking the opportunities for fair and equitable prosperity from the world's oceans, rivers, and lakes, climate resilient aquatic food systems can also help deliver climate justice. The world can and must transform aquatic food systems to become resilient to climate change. By 2050, we will need to feed more than 9 billion people. Aquatic foods offer multiple entry points through which to accomplish this goal while also creating the conditions that allow climate vulnerable communities to thrive. Aquatic foods are highly diverse and tend to have much lower average resource use and environmental impacts than land-based animal source foods. With investment in management and innovation, aquatic foods can sustainably provide more than six times more food than they do today. This would be more than two-thirds of the protein needed to feed people in the future. Climate-proofed aquatic food systems, including robust infrastructure and early warning systems, can also protect and increase the economic benefits for coastal and riverside communities. With greater resilience and a shared prosperity, fishing and aquaculture offer new opportunities for the most vulnerable to participate on more equal terms, including women and young people. Inclusive, diverse and transformative aquatic food research and innovation that delivers on these prompts are therefore more important than ever. These approaches have already been proven to drive climate adaptation and mitigation opportunities by ensuring benefits to communities worldwide. They generate productive and prosperous supply chains, equitable social and economic inclusion, and improve nutrition and public health. At the COP27 climate talks, the world has an opportunity to fully realize and seize upon the game-changing potential of climate resilient aquatic food systems for the world's most vulnerable populations. As we convene in Sharm el Sheikh, Wolfish brings this scientific evidence and existing innovations to make the case for putting aquatic food systems high on the climate agenda. Worldfish partners with an extensive network of donors and other partners to end hunger and advance sustainable development by 2030 through science and innovation to transform food, land and water systems with aquatic foods for healthier people and planet. Partnerships are essential to bringing technologies and innovations to scale and achieving development impact. With urgent transformation, aquatic food systems can drive climate action and sustainable development. 
not only can innovation in the aquatic food sector provide a growing population with nutrition, but it can also reduce poverty, minimize negative environmental impacts and advance equity for the most impoverished. World Fish envisions a future where climate resilient innovations, education, services and markets are accessible to those who need it the most. A future where institutions and governments are well equipped to address climate challenges and the financial gap between investment and need is filled. Critically, Wolfish sees a future where communities are included in policy and investment interventions.